Commentary. Further, measure these numbers of gods of the sun and moon, loss of the rain, loss of the clouds, loss of thunder, loss of lightning, who patrol throughout the year. Most people don't realize that for every year, there is a governor who monitors the events that take place during it, and all the retinues of stars which were also in the assembly, each star has its retinue, bowed at the Buddha's feet and said to the Buddha, We also protect all cultivators so that their body minds are peaceful and they attain fearlessness. We've also made vows to protect people who cultivate. We set ourselves up in their body manda and help them be unafraid. They attain the power of fearlessness. Sutra, moreover, measure these numbers of mountain spirits, sea spirits, and all those of the earth, the measured creatures and essences of water, land, and the air, as well as the king of wind spirits and the gods of the formless heavens, came before the Buddha, the first come one, bowed their heads and said to the Buddha, We also protect these cultivators until they attain body and will never let any demons have their way with them. Commentary Moreover, measure these numbers of mountain spirits, sea spirits, and all those of the earth, the myriad creatures and essences of water, land, and the air. All these spirits too, as well as the king of the wind spirits and the gods of the formless heavens, came before the first come one, bowed their heads, simultaneously making obeisance to the Buddha, said to the Buddha, We also will protect these cultivators until they attain body and will never let any demons have their way with them. We will protect them right up to the time they attain body and will never let anything demonic happen to them. Sutra Then Varachajari King Bodhisattvas in the Great Assembly, numbering as many as 84,000 Nayutas of Kotis worth of sense in the Ganges, arose from their seats, bowed at the Buddha's feet, and said to the Buddha, Won't honored one, the nature of our deeds in cultivation is such that, although we have long since accomplished body, we do not grasp at Nirvana, but always accompany those who hold this mantra, rescuing and protecting those of, in the final age who cultivate samadhi properly. Commentary Then Vara Treasury King Bodhisattvas in the Great Assembly, numbering as many as 84,000 Nayutas of Kotis, that is, as many hundreds of millions worth of sense in the Ganges, arose from their seats, bowed at the Buddha's feet, and said to the Buddha, Won't honored one, the nature of our deeds in cultivation is such that Although we have long since accomplished Bodhi, we do not grasp at Nirvana, but always accompany those who hold this mantra. The merit and virtue of our conservation is such that we already realized Bodhi long ago. We have been certified. So why don't we enter Nirvana? We always accompany those who hold this mantra. We are intent upon rescuing and protecting those in the final age who cultivate samadhi properly. Those who genuinely practice trans samadhi will be guarded and protected by us. Sutra won't honor to one such people as these who cultivate their minds and seek proper concentration, whether in the bodhimanda or walking about, or and even such people who with scattered minds from and play in the villages will be accompanied and protected by us or and our retinue of followers. Commentary The Vada Treasury King Bodhisattva continues speaking to the Buddha, won't honored one, such people as these who cultivate their minds and seek proper concentration, who want to obtain genuine samadhi power, whether in the Bodhimanda or walking about. Cultivators sit in meditation and apply effort but when they get up and walk about, they are still applying effort. When they sit, they develop the skill of dhyana samadhi. When they get up, they cultivate the samadhi of reciting and holding, either by reciting mantras or being mindful of the Buddha. 
and even such people who with scattered mice from and play in the villages. The Vara Treasury King Bodhisattvas even protect cultivators who are not cultivating somebody, are not in the Bodhimanda and are not walking about reciting. Actually, though, even if you are on a holiday to another place, you can still hold the mantra. But even if you get scattered, the Vara Treasury King Bodhisattva says, you will be accompanied and protected by us and our retinue of followers. If you are one who recites and holds the Surakama Mantra, and if you have some skill, if you can make it function, then 84,000 Vara Treasury King Bodhisattvas and their retinue, their entire retinue of followers, will accompany and protect you wherever you go, just as troops protect their generals. When you enter a room, there will be guards at the door protecting you. Sutra, also the demon kings and god of great comfort will seek to get at them. They will never be able to do so. The small, smaller ghosts will have to stay 10 to a distance from these good people, except for those beings who have decided they want to cultivate dhyana. Commentary Although the demon kings and the god of great comfort will seek to get at them, they will never be able to do so. They will look for a way in, they will look for a hole so that they can give the cultivators trouble, but they will not be able to bother them, and the smaller ghosts will have to stay 10 Juranas distance from these good people. Since the demon kings and the god of the heaven of great comfort are unable to disturb them, the little ghosts and spirits will have to behave even more properly. They will have to stay 275 miles away except for those beings who have decided they want to cultivate dhyana. The only exception is those ghosts who have brought forth their resolve to listen to the sutras, hear the drama, and to cultivate trans samadhi. Beings like that can participate in the Bodhimanda and the Dharma assemblies and can listen to the sutras if they want to. If they don't want to do those things, they must stay 275 miles away. Sutra won't honored one if such evil demons and their retinues want to harm or disturb these good people. We will smash their heads to smithereens with our vara bastos. We will always have these pupils who accomplish what they want. Commentary Would you say the Dharma protecting Vara Chagari Bodhisattvas are fires? They say they will smash the heads of demons into fine moss of dust. Can you imagine how much strength that would take? I tell you, however, that there is no need for the Vara Pastors or the Vara Chagari Bodhisattvas to come in actual contact with the heads of the demons at all. They don't need to really strike a blow in order to smash their heads to smithereens. All they have to do is have the thought to do it, and the deed is accomplished. That's because the strength of the samadhi of the Vata Chajari Bodhisattva is sufficient to obliterate everything that exists, so they call out again. Won't honored one, if such evil demons of their retinues want to harm or disturb these good people, we will smash their heads to smithereens with our vara pastors. We will always have these people to accomplish what they want. Just such demons as those mentioned here are behind the brawls and strides and revolts the cases of arson, murder, and theft in every major city in the world today. Demon kings store up these troubles invisibly. Most people don't know but that, but someone who has cultivated the Buddha Dharma to the point that he or she has genuine samadhi power, someone with good rules who has opened the Buddha eye can verify that this is so. The problem is that the Dharma's tricks the Dharma tricks of the demons have a lot of power behind them. 
they pack more of a wallop than the Buddha Dharma in that one must cultivate the Dharma for a long, long time, three, five, ten, twenty years before one obtains a little advantage. But the Dharma's tricks are mastered very strictly. They can cultivate and obtain tremendous psychic powers, and they abound throughout the world, causing unrest and instigating trouble. However, if you can recite the Suragama Mantra, then all the demons throughout the world are forced to behave to some extent. If no one can recite the Suragama Mantra, they will run rampant, they will recklessly devastate this world.